Hello everybody, this is King Alfie, and welcome to another tutorial where I'm going to show you how to install sodium complemented by lithium and phosphor. Now, let me answer the two questions that I know you guys have on your minds right now. A, why is there a slice of cheese in the background? And to figure that out, you're gonna have to watch my Enigma episodes. Yep, that's right, I'm not gonna tell you right now. And number two is, King, why does it sound like you're studying for a grade 10 chemistry test? Sodium, lithium, phosphorus, what is that? And to answer that question, they are performance enhancing mods for Minecraft. They operate in similar capacity to Optifine, but they are much simpler and actually run a little bit better I've found from my testing. So I'm gonna show you how to install those right here, right now. All right, let's get on with the tutorial now. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is install Fabric because all these mods use Fabric as their launcher. So just download the universal jar from the website here. The link will be in the description below. And you're gonna want to put this jar file inside your .minecraft folder inside the mods folder. So sometimes you won't have that folder depending on how new your install is. If you don't have it, just create a new folder called mods, just like so. And we're going to open that up and we're going to drag this jar file inside here. So. Now that we have the jar file inside here, we're also going to run it. That way we can install it. So this is going to install the fabric launcher on your Minecraft launcher. You also want to have it inside your mods folder because all of the three mods that we're going to install also need access to the jar file. All right, now that you've got fabric installed, it's time to install sodium, lithium, and phosphor. So you can access those through the Creator Caffeine's GitHub page, and I'll have that linked in the description as well. And each of these mods do a different thing. Sodium is for frame rate, Lithium is for general performance, and Phosphor is for uh, the lighting engine. So they all serve a different purpose, so I would suggest installing all three of them, but Sodium is the only one that you really need. So we're gonna do that first. So click on Sodium, it'll bring you to this page right here, and this is why I wanted to make the tutorial, because GitHub scares a lot of people when you start clicking on different things. So from this page, you're going to want to scroll down here to where it says Downloads, and you're going to want to click the hyperlink that is GitHub Releases Page. So that's going to bring you to where the actual jar files are. So I know it says 116.3 here, but it is compatible with 116.4 and 5. And you're gonna to wanna to click this one right here, the one above the source code, which should be 409 kilobytes. So we're going to install that. And once again, like we did with the fabric installer, we're going to open up our .minecraft and our mods folder, and we're just going to drag this guy into the mods folder. And that is all you need to do to install sodium. And it's going to be the same process for uh, lithium and phosphor. So click on the link, scroll down to the releases under downloads, click that, and then find the bigger one. So this is going to be 341 kilobytes. Download that guy and drag that into your mods folder again. And once again, rinse and repeat for Phosphor. So open up the link, scroll down to downloads, GitHub releases, and then just go to the one above the source code. And once again, this one says 116.3, same thing. Works for 116.4 and 5. So once you have all of those installed and in the mods folder, you should see that you can launch with your fabric loader. So just launch the game. I haven't launched it yet with this version of .minecraft. So launch that, it'll download any necessary files and you should be good to go. All right, so when you load the game, it should look like this, and you'll notice that it doesn't look any different than normal Minecraft, other than it says Fabric Modded. So if you go into Options, once again, it looks pretty normal, unlike Optifine, but when you go into your video settings, that's where you're gonna notice the difference. You're gonna get all of these different uh, GUI options. So this is how you'll know that uh, Sodium has installed properly. Both lithium and phosphor run in the background, so there's no actual indication as to if they're running. But as long as you don't get any errors, it is running in the background, as long as you have both fabric and sodium installed. And that, my friends, is all there is to installing these three mods. Once you've done that, everything is good and ready to go. So let's go over some of the options here. So if we open our video settings, 
Pretty much everything is going to be the same as your vanilla Minecraft settings. Most of the optimizations take place in the background. So one thing I always like to do is turn the brightness up and whenever you change anything in the settings here, you have to apply them, otherwise they won't take effect. So make sure to apply them and then that will be part of your game now. So one thing I always recommend is keep VSync on no matter what you do because that'll prevent screen tearing, which is something that I went over in my uh, seven ways to optimize Minecraft video. And also you can adjust the chunk load distance here. So just do that based on if you're in single player or if you're on a server. If you're on a server, just adjust this to whatever the server uh, chunk load distance is because that's gonna be the maximum amount of chunks you can see anyways. And then there's the other tabs at the top here where you can adjust different things. So just adjust those to your liking hit apply and that will be good. There we go, that's how you install those three mods. Now all you gotta do is decide, are you gonna use sodium, lithium, and phosphor or are you going to use Optifine? Personally, I'm gonna keep using Optifine but that's for two reasons. Number one is this right here. Uh, the three mods that I just showed you how to install don't have a zoom feature and the other reason is because shaders are not yet implemented into those mods. So the only reason that I'm sticking with uh, Optifine is because I am a content creator. If I was a day-to-day -day Minecraft player, I would honestly switch to uh, the other ones because I find that they have better performance enhancing things. And if you look at the settings for Optifine, they're a little harder to adjust to your computer because you have to keep adjusting all of the different settings and there's a lot of them. But with Sodium, Phosphor, and Lithium, they just do it automatically for you because they're all background processes. So that's something to keep in mind. Also, they do run really well with uh, Replay Mod, which I also have an install tutorial for if you want to use that. But yeah, you don't have to use any kind of port or anything like you do with Optifine. You can just run them on Fabric alongside the Replay Mod. So I guess you guys just have to make your decision based off of your performance of your computer, which one you're going to use, but this is a very good option that is an alternative to Optifine. But that's going to do it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did like it, make sure to hit the like button, and if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe, and I will see you guys all in the next one. Later. I just broke a bookcase.